Hello. Let's welcome back to the show. We love this guy. He's a great writer. He's Fox News contributor Joe Concha. He writes for The Hill. Okay, Joe, it's good to see you. The president's son, Hunter Biden, he has his art show out west, Secret Service in Every Corner, reports coming in. Uh, the New York Times columnist, uh, Brett Stevens, puts out an opinion piece saying, what is going on here, quote, screams of a scam, selling art to anonymous buyers who, who could be trying to buy influence. His paintings are going for half a million bucks a piece. What do you, where do you come down on this? Brett Stevens is absolutely right. I mean, this is influence peddling, Elizabeth, in broad daylight. And it's happening because Hunter Biden is the third rail of stories for so-called news outlets out there. It's like an 11th commandment. Thou shall not mention Hunter Biden and the White House's obvious conflict of interest and in opening themselves up to be compromised by these anonymous buyers. Even the White House ethics chief under Obama Biden says that this is absolutely a scandal. I mean, what first-time artist since, I don't know, Da Vinci got $500,000 for a painting, adjusted for inflation, of course. So this is just another example of selling on the family name and the media yawning as it happens. It is the ultimate bias of omission because if this was Donald Trump Jr. or Eric Trump, it would be a media apocalypse right now, Elizabeth. We like that adjusted for inflation part. That was funny. You know, but you Thank know, you. Hunter on a recent podcast defended his new art sales against critics and watchdogs saying, I hate to say this, we're cable. He said, F them. You know, the White House is avoiding and dodging questions about this. Watch this, Joe. Again, the gallerist has spoken to, we've spoken to the specifics what the gallerist has agreed to and what, uh, per, what recommendations were made. I've done that several times. I don't have additional details for it from here. I you know what? Okay enough already because you know Saul Weisenberg was on with us last night Joe he said Jimmy Carter repudiated, repudiated his brother and that now we're dumbing down and uh, this kind of stuff and normalizing bad behavior what do you think it seems like we are normalizing bad behavior because, you know, maybe one question to Jen Psaki here and there about that. We're 60 minutes on this. I mean, honestly, I mean, here you have so much and not just here. Obviously, what would happen with Hunter Biden and Ukraine and Burisma and China and his, his laptop and the emails where you had traditional media before the 2020 election, working with social media, working with the Biden campaign to squash that story that The New York Post got first and they succeeded. Consequences future trust be damned. And I want to know where the 50 former senior intelligence officials who signed off on that letter, remember, Elizabeth, yeah. uh, that almost every media outlet touted as definitive proof that they all said, well, the Hunter Biden laptop story had to be classic earmarks of Russian information, misinformation operation. Where CIA Director John Brennan, he signed off on that letter. He's on NBC News. He has airtime. He should go on and say he got it completely wrong. Or General Michael Hayden, he's on CNN. He said that was Russian disinformation as well, the laptop story. You know really You'll see so him sketchy. on the air talking about this. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead, finish your point. I was about to say, you'll see him on the air talking about how, oh, I got it wrong, I shouldn't have signed that letter, I had no idea whether it was Russian misinformation around the time that the Miami Dolphins win another Super Bowl, which ain't happening anytime soon. Bad quarterback situation down well, there. Well, Politico's Ben Schreckinger, mm -hmm. he has a new book, right? He makes a compelling mm -hmm. case that, you know, Hunter Biden never disputed the emails. He never, his purported right. laptop emails, he never disputed them. They, he's saying they're genuine. They looked into it. And, you know, you see so many shady, sketchy deal making involving off balance sheet shell companies burying the cash flow in deals from around the world involving Kazakhstan, mm -hmm. Russia, China, and more. It's a web, a cat's cradle of shell companies that Hunter Biden and his uncle set up. And then, you know, also that email with the 10% cut for the father. That's Tony Bobolinsky saying is the president. Never disputed it. Your final word. Yeah, the big guy. And, and look, those emails that you talked about, there are people CC'd on those emails that those emails are directed to coming to and from Hunter Biden. Everybody that were, was in those emails also never disputed, hey, that's not me. Hey, I wasn't involved in that. And that's all you need to know about that. But again, this was just an effort by big media and social media, an effort to get candidate Biden over the finish line. And it worked. Got what it. a catastrophe, Elizabeth. Joe Concha, it's good to have you on. We'll be back again Great to soon. see you.